Welcome to episode four of Kicking It With Kahu. In this episode, we're going to be catching up with a big personality in the League of Legends scene. So, let's kick it with Dre, aka Blue. Welcome, Drakani Bulldog Akuhata. Thank you so much for joining us for an interview today. Yes, sir. How we doing? How we doing? Good, good, thank you. Now, first of all, can you play us? What game do you play? What is your role within that game and which team do you play? Davos. I play for Davos and League of Legends. You know, I'm the support player, you know. You know, you can help the nanny cross the road type of thing. That's what I do. That's what I do. Cool. Well, before we delve into your experience as Bulldog the professional gamer, I would like to acknowledge uh, Dre from Gisborne. So uh, first of all, just some personal stuff. Uh, first of all, what is your favorite dog breed? Ah, uh, Budo, Budo, yeah, I like, I like dogs, oh, I like dogs. Yeah, yeah, Budo, yeah, for sure. So is that just where your name came from? You just I really I've like got a dogs? dog, I don't know what it is, but it, I know it's black, that's about it. Now, I hear that you're quite popular and loved within the community and that you engage in a little bit of fun um, on your broadcasts and social media, and I can really see that in this interview. Uh, why do you think it's important that players have their own individual identities and personalities and aren't just like a gamer tag with attached statistics? I think why I'm loved, because I'm just big and black and they're scared of me. Because if they like, you know, talk shit to me, then what shit, what they gonna do? What they gonna do? Nothing gonna do. <laughs> look at me, look. <laughs> yeah. I'm they intimidated, I'm very intimidated. <laughs> oh shit, uh, my bad, my bad. No, nah, but um, I don't know. I don't know why people don't like have their own personality towards our like, interviews and like, no, I actually think it's really cool that, you know, you're you're really, like, outgoing and you're just being yourself. Um, you know, I think gaming might have a little bit of an image of being introverts. Um, so have you actually found that being a pro player has hindered or improved your social life? I'm pretty, I'm a bit of an introvert, but it's like, when it comes to interviews, like, I just do it for a laugh or a piss take. Like, if I make myself look somewhat, like, laughable, just, we're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling. I think it's definitely a conversation a conversation starter being a professional player, right? Yeah. Like, do you just like manage to sneak that in whenever you're meeting someone? <laughs> nah, no, nah, no, that's so I hate like like because like all my mates like know that I obviously do it, and then like when I'm just talking to a random at the club, they're like, "Do you know who you're talking?" I'm like, "Bro, stop! It's cringe. I'm just chilling." It's one of the best parts of like reaching the level of being a professional gamer is like bragging rights, so. though. Yeah, la nah, la nah, la, nah, not for me, not for me. Like oh, to be normal, good. somewhat normal anyway. So you play League of Legends. Can you just tell me, how did you first get into League of Legends? And like, what was your pathway into it? Like, did you have barriers uh-huh. when you first started and like having access to being able to play League of Legends? Uh, what got me into League, well, you can see on my player profile, like my cousins growing up with them, they were jamming, jamming out, see them. Yo, mama, give me a laptop. I want to play that. Got me a laptop, said in the video that... Spill some coffee, some water, happens. Give me another one, please. Christmas. That's basically how I got into the league, really. Yeah, I've, I've been there with the spilt drink and <laughs> the computer. It hurts, it hurts. It hurts. This is, it this hurts. is you, when you when you spill it. <laughs> <laughs> the rice, put the whole computer in rice. Yeah, yeah for sure. Just <laughs> trying not, to empty it out. What advice would you give to people who are trying to get into competitive league? I mean, obviously, if you want to, like, do the best you possibly can. You want to invest as much time as you can. So if you got like a job on the side, you're obviously not gonna like, you know, improve a lot because you could be doing more league related stuff instead of working the nine to five or whatever like that. But like a professional goal to improve probably be like I don't know, high intensity gaming, like focus twenty four seven when you're in a game, vods, you know, watch Koreans because they goaded. Don't forget the Chinese. I, I like Chinese. Uh, yeah, that's about it, really. So you are in your first year of the LCO. Can you please tell me how is that going and is it what you expected? To be honest, I think it's going better than expected. Even though we come fifth in split one, we are rocking pretty strong coming through split two with our new roster changes. And as me and an individual, like... I'm surprised I'm, like, keeping my, um, how do I say, keeping my weight up for the team. We've seen, like, other, like, veteran pros, stuff like that. So, you already know Osa's trash if I'm keeping up with them, because 
I'm moldy. No, I'm good. I'm, I suppose these are good. We good. We good. Um, could you actually speak a little bit more about the changes amongst the team coming into split two, and how are those different, and how has the team changed since the previous split? Poltron coming in as our jungler for Guru. Sumin coming in for Kyose. Our Poltron kind of like, you know, has like a has a voice. Not like I'm not trying to dig at Guru. He's my homie, is it? But like, like he has a like strong leadership. Like he calls stuff. You know, calls shot calls, does his thing, ends in the enemy jungle level three, but it happens. You know, we just say, ah, next play, next play. And would you deem your time in the LCO so far as a success? For me, as a rookie, mm, yes and no. Because, like, obviously, oh, our team actually, kind of yes. Because, like, when you think about it, we have four rookies. And we're, like, kind of chilling at the top half of the leaderboard so i said we're actually doing pretty good for ourselves i mean when you say rookie do you mean rookie in the professional scene yeah 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 um our 80s you know 18 fresh on the boat I'm not trying to say i'm on him but he's 18 coming fresh in the league we've got uh suman he, he's played pro before i don't know when it was ages ago but he you know we've reached out to him he said sure come in then Holtron. <laughs> Is that how you recruit your players? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, Poltron's Chinese, so like you have to talk to him in Chinese. Ah, uh, you know, watch out. That's for him. Watch out. Watch out. But now, yeah, um, you know, uh, Jungler was our coach. Well, last year he was coaching for Gravitas. Wasn't a player. Nothing like that. Coming this year as a rookie, obviously. Then we got Zarenas. He was an OCS. He won that. And then I think he just never tried to go into the scene. I think it was just a uni thing. But yeah, he's a rookie coming into the big boys, <laughs> I would say. So Bulldog, can you please tell us what are your goals going forward, both in your professional life and your personal life? Personal life? Honestly, not sure. We're just chilling. We're just going with the flow. Going wherever this LCO ting takes me, you know what I'm saying? If it takes me somewhere bigger, hey, we like those. If, it, if we're chilling in the same spot, hey, we take those, you know what I'm saying? We, we take those. Professionally, mm, yeah, everyone wants to make it out of us. Everyone wants to, you know, get their shot in any other region, to be honest. But, like, hey, everyone wants that, that NA contract. Everyone wants that NA contract. That's where the big bucks is. And that's where I'm trying to go. Nah, I'm doing it for the love of the game, not the money. Okay, so can I just say, if you guys ever win a competition, sorry, when you guys win your next competition, um, can you please be the player that gets interviewed at the end? Yeah, well, I mean, for sure. Like, for the LCO, I'm like, give them all to me, give them all to me. And they're like, no, we got to share them around. Like, nah, they're good, they're good, they're good. They're good. Just give them to me. I'll have them. Cool. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. Now, if people want to follow you, how can they follow you? What are your social tags? It's just my Twitter. I just, that's all I use, really. And my Twitch, if you if I even stream, you can check me out there. Cool. Thank you so much, Bulldog, for hanging out with us and giving us an insight into your life as a professional gamer. Best of luck with everything from here on out. And I look forward to following you on social media. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.